everyone, and welcome to the In-Depth Genealogist Chit Chat Live. I'm Valerie eichler Lair, your host, and this week I have the pleasure of interviewing someone who's a professional genealogist by night, and she's a newspaper editor by day. She was on the most recent episode of The Dead Files. Now, I'm not sure if any of you have watched that show yet. I interviewed one of the other genealogists that was on an episode and it in fact I got the hair standing up on my arms just thinking about it I have to watch a couple of comedies or like this last Saturday I watched a football game just so that I don't have nightmares because it can kind of get spooky but um, basically the dead files takes um, an investigation into a paranormal activity and this last episode was um, on violence that was threatening an older woman and her daughter and children. And they all lived in the same house. And the host, um, who is a prior, uh, prior New York police officer, Steve, and then the paranormal person, Amy, they do separate parts, you know, not together. And then they come together um, to meet with the family and give the results of their research. And part of the show has genealogy. Yay. <laughs> so Hi. I'd like I'd like to introduce you all to Phyllis McLaughlin from Louisville, Kentucky. Hi, Phyllis. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. It's been a while. Too long. Exactly. Yeah. We got to meet up again sometime soon. <laughs> yeah. When we're not on the air and live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she has one of her cute little furry friends with her. So you might hear some input from little kitty in the background, but that's okay. Yeah. See? Hi. His, his name is Nico and he talks on cue. So there you oh, go. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, Phyllis, um, I wanted to give a little bit of an introduction about this this particular episode. It was uh, based in Louisville, Kentucky, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what was the what was happening is um, between the the mom, the elderly woman. Um, was having episodes, uh, one in particular, like she felt like she was having a heart attack. It woke her up in, out of a, a, a sound sleep, and she couldn't breathe. Uh, when she went to the hospital, you know, nothing was wrong. She didn't have a heart attack. Comes back home, and then some other episode was that she, her daughter had found her on the ground, you know, that she literally was pushed, and nothing, no one was around. Then the same kinds of things, um, the daughter was being pushed down the stairway, staircase or stair, stairwell down to the basement level. Um, the children were experiencing problems, and I, I note in particular um, the, the youngest girl, um, the... The minute she would leave the house, she was fine and happy-go-lucky in her typical young girl fun fun self. She'd get in the home, and it was very angry. Her personality just went from white to black, you know, dark, dark, you know, light to dark, you know, and it was affecting the entire family. And so, now, Phyllis, my first question is: Do you get to meet the family? No, uh, uh No. In fact, in fact, what what happens is they give you two different scenarios because they had two properties that they had um, researched. So um, I didn't know really until um, I saw which ep the episode, which one they were going to choose. Um, oh, it, okay. tends, it tends to be they pick two different properties and they try, and then they send Amy to. Uh, conduct her investigations of each of the properties and whichever one she gets more information from is the one that they use. Right. And mm -hmm. when the part in the beginning when Amy is doing the walkthrough, it, the ones, the episodes I've seen anyway, it's always at night. They remove personal items, photographs, different things from the house so she doesn't get um, um, the wrong impression or she doesn't get outside influences or whatever and right. she's 
you know, talking or listening to those spirits and so forth. So that's, I keep thinking, okay, now this is genealogy. Don't get all freaked out. You know? And uh, so uh, then, then it comes to the part where he's doing, Steve is um, introducing the research and the investigation part. And in, uh, in your episode, Phyllis, they had a couple of people which, you know, they had showed different things, but I want to focus on what you did. Okay. Okay. So first of all, um, where, where was it at? Cause I thought it, you were at the courthouse. No, it was in the stacks at the Louisville free public library, downtown Louisville. Um, it was a really neat setting actually. I thought, yeah, it was. I, I was looking at these stacks of books and I'm going, well, is that in the courthouse or down in the basement? But the free public library in Louisville. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And the, but, were they research books or I reference think it's books? Just, I, I don't know what books they were. I think it's just, um, you know, when they just don't have all the room for the, the books to be on the shelf. So these are the stacks where they keep things where the, like, it probably is research, re, uh, reference books and things like that where the librarians are the only ones that really have access to that part of the library. So it was very private. Right. Kind of, kind of like what we refer to in a genealogy department, where it's the closed stacks and the librarians mm -hmm. have to go back and get it because right. they don't have enough room or because of uh, specifics about each of the items. So, so that was a really cool spot. That was really good. Mm -hmm. It really and, was. And then, um, uh, do you get to do some of the research into the documents? Actually, no. Um, I I tried. To, they told me that I didn't have to do any research, but because I am who I am, um, and you're a genealogist, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they did give me like a list of the information for both of the cases that they wanted me to discuss with Steve. Um, and so I went ahead and did a little bit more research just to kind of add a little punch to it, maybe a few more details, um, which I did use during part of it. Um, uh, but basically in the end, they're just like, um, that's really good stuff, but could you just kind of stick to the script a little bit more? So it's kind of scripted and kind of not scripted. So they basically have already done the research. So they basically want to use a professional genealogist basically to just give the information to Steve and present it to him. But that's, but, and that's good because um, it, it gives us, you know, professional genealogists and researchers exposure. Um, exactly. And that, you know, they, they know and the, the show, Steve and Amy, they know enough that they, you know, need assistance with research and so forth. So, um, so that's good. But, but I like what you said, how, you know, you had, you know, don't tell me not to do the research. I got to look into some. <laughs> I did. Well, you know, and I just wanted to familiarize myself with what it was they were looking at too. So they had like, they had done all the research. They had sent me copies of all the documents they could get a hold of. They had um, newspaper clippings and things like that. Um, so they were able to, um, you know, just give me, they sent me an email about two months or so probably before I did the on-camera work. Mm -hmm. And I know that um, in that neighborhood, there was, you know, a, a gun and an incidents with the gun um, where that person back in 1932 had shot uh, his wife and she died. The he was judged to be insane. And it's like, so all that was interesting. And then on your part, you had given the photographs of this Morris and his wife, Minnie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, how did you feel when you were looking at that? Did that kind of give you goosebumps or, you know, excited oh, yeah, like your yeah. own research? It, it was, it was kind of like that. And um, it, it was, it was odd. Um, but yeah, I mean, they did find a really good story. I thought. So, oh yeah. It, yeah. And I loved, you did an, I thought you did an excellent job when you had, were explaining about or during the great depression. Yeah. And I, some of that actually, I think was some of my own stuff. So, um, it's kind of a blur because I, we did the taping back in October. So, um, I've, 
totally kind of, actually, by the time I left the library, I'd kind of forgotten everything that I said. <laughs> so, but yeah, I do remember the Great Depression, and, and that was some of my little ad lib in there. So they, I guess they did keep some of it. That's good. That's good. Because yeah. um, we need those historical facts right. and things to add to our ancestors' story. Mm -hmm. And I loved how, you know, I, I marked next to um, your name on my notes because I take a page of notes. If you don't know already, I'm I'm the OCD of TV show <laughs> note taking. Um, but I wrote down there, oh, lots and lots of facts because everything you said was fact. You know, mm -hmm, even mm -hmm. when, you know, the photograph of Morris, the photograph of his wife, Minnie, you know, mm -hmm. the there was the 1921 death certificate. Mm -hmm. um, which is really cool. And then there was also, you met, you had mentioned about the 1927 cancer surgeries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so now, and that was um, in the research that you were given or some tidbits that you had found on your own? Most of that was given to me, yeah. Okay. Um, the death certificates, all that stuff they'd found on their own. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was tickled because it's like, okay, good, they've got, um, primary documents that you know they can use for this research, and they did their homework. So right, the the original rather than a derivative. You exactly. Know, you, want, you know, for a death for a death, you want the original, you know, record rather than a derivative. Say, like an obituary is a, a derivative, right. so to speak. Um, right. So and then so then there was a 1931 and then a 1947 death certificate but I thought it was very interesting how some of that the uh, for those deaths in some cases it did refer back to some of the original people that were involved in that area or on that property right mm -hmm. yes it did it they yeah it they they stretched it out back as far as they could to get as much information about what had happened at that property Mm -hmm. Yeah, they brought back, I think the furthest back I have written down is uh, 1913. That was the, a death certificate, but and but I didn't write down because I, I don't even think they mentioned the date of the newspaper clipping on the alimony part. Okay. But right. so the earliest uh, date I wrote down was 1913. And I just love seeing Steve sitting down in front of a microfilm reader. That was good. That was a good touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like good. You got you got to show what what the research is about. It's, it, but Phyllis, isn't it all online? Oh no, yes, it is. And and you know, you and I know with DNA testing, you can find everything out. You don't even have to do the research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's good that that aspect. You know, looking. Right. At books and looking right. at the microfilm and getting into original records, you know, instead of, you know, the derivative records, of course, you know, you want them all, but right. you know, to, and then the, the copies of, uh, and I would assume the copies are from original photographs or, or clip newspapers as well. Um, right. What, um, and I, I know you're editor of newspaper. I'm actually, I was an editor, I'm now actually just a staff writer, so, but I'm on a daily instead of a weekly, so. Weekly. Oh, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. So it had to, what, what I was getting to is, it has to be really exciting to see them using newspaper photos or newspaper clippings. Oh, yeah, I'm always glad when they do that. It makes me feel like my, my work has value. <laughs> oh, it does, it does anyway, it does anyway, so. That's awesome. Um, I was going to ask you, is, uh, let's step back a bit. Um, how, did you, how did you get involved with this? Did they reach out to you? Did you contact the show's producers? How did you get involved? I got a phone, phone call out of the blue. Um, I'm really? Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was a phone call. It may have started with an email. Um, and I thought, oh, well, this is interesting. And I contacted a couple people I know who have done television uh, for this kind of thing. And I said, hey, you know, because I'd never heard of the show. I never, I've never seen it. And I mean, I, which is odd because those are the kind of shows I like to watch because I, my husband doesn't buy into that stuff, but I do. And um, so, uh, so yeah, they said, yeah, sure. Why not go for it? It's, you know, it's, 
it, it would be fun. And it was a lot of fun because um, I really got to learn how they do these things. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, so I reached, I, I gave them a call and then they set everything up and um, I um, played hooky from work for a day. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I had an appointment, but I didn't tell him what and, until um, until it was supposed to air. And that's when I told everybody, oh, guess what? I'm going to be on TV. So. <laughs> well, you know, plus, too, I, you know, it's probably in the contract that you can't pre-announce it or, or say anything prior to um, right. the production. I told, I told friends and family, but I didn't really post it on uh, – I didn't post it on Facebook or anything. I just – because I wasn't sure. You know, it's like – it's kind of one of those things. It's like, well – yeah, but what am I going to look like? Am I, you know, and how is, how are they going to, act? are they going to edit it so that I look like I'm smart and I know what I'm talking about or what? So, I, well, I, I happen to know that you're an excellent researcher and so you're not, you weren't going <laughs> to, <you know. laughs> but yeah, I, like me, I get mumble mouth in front of the camera, but I'm a lot better, you know, don't ask me to write, you know, I'll write. I, I enjoy writing for my students and for my clients mm -hmm. and with my own family, but to put it out there, it's like, oh no, let me do a video blog. <laughs> right. Well, see, and that's what's funny is I, I, I like to write, but I, I did a small stint in radio journalism before I uh, got into newspaper and that went back. But I really think um, what really helped me uh, manage to go through with this and, and present this information and not really be all totally nervous is the fact that I've, I started a couple years ago doing presentations. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad for that because I think that's what made it easier for me to, plus I really, I really think that not having any connection and or affinity for the show beforehand. So I, I knew who the people were I was going to meet, but I, I'd never, I never really thought much about them. Right, but, you didn't have um, any like preconceived notions or so, or or oh, oh, you're famous, and you know, and getting all weird <laughs> about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, Steve's really nice, but he's not the Beatles, um, you know, so he wasn't really that much to get worried about. But he was, he was fun to work with. I really enjoyed that. Well, that really came out that way. Um, you you presented very well. I mean, when you even when you handed over the the photos and then the the uh, death certificates and then and expanded upon them, um, you did very very well. It was almost it's like it just was natural, like almost like you were talking to like I would present it to a client or to a student or something. Mm -hmm. So it it. it, it it was really good. Thank you. I was. I wanted to ask you: is how how much time did was the taping versus what actually was on the show? <clears throat> much more time was involved in the taping. Um, a couple of times, I think they had a couple of camera problems, so they had to, to work on a couple of cameras. They changed. Uh, they moved the camera angles a couple of times too, so we'd have to stand around waiting for that. If you ever do this, don't wear uncomfortable shoes because <laughs> you'll be standing for a long time. I would say, I can't remember exactly, but I would say it didn't really take more than two or three hours. Mm -hmm. So, but most of it was standing and waiting for them to get the equipment ready and all that stuff. And um, <clears throat> I believe at one point, I think I actually got there early, which is unusual for me. So we kind of sat around in one of the boardrooms just kind of. Uh, waiting for everybody to get everything ready. So, but yeah, it was it was a lot of sit around and wait. But um, you know, it, it really wasn't that bad. It, it like I said, it didn't even take half a day, and that included uh, driving an hour to Louisville and back. So, uh -huh. cool, cool. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I always like. You know, that's why I love doing these, you know, in-depth things or behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, when you talk about that. But I also know that, you know, there's contracts and, and certain things and, and as far as privacy and so forth. Um, if it was me, I would want to meet the family, but not at this on site. <laughs> I wanted to meet, um, excuse me, I have to do this real quick. Can, um, I wanted to meet Amy. But mm -hmm. um, she actually, they're very, very, very um, 
careful. She's very professional about it. She doesn't go anywhere where Steve is. Steve doesn't go anywhere where she is. And so that was kind of the disappointing part, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have to keep that integrity. Yes, they do. Um, and I can I can tell you that as far as I could see, they did that. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And I saw that um, in another episode where uh, another professional genealogist was on the show. And um, it's, in fact, the IDG Chit Chat uh, where I interviewed uh, someone else that was on an episode of Dead Files is already gone live. Uh, you can go and find it in the In-Depth Genealogist uh, YouTube library. So. Um, was there anything, well, I thought it was really interesting, I was, oh, it's kind of like when you're told, yeah, go ahead and do this research, but you got to stop right here, and you want to go more, because in the beginning, Amy was bringing up about the Native American. Right. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, I would have gone more into it, but, you know, I, they only, well, they have to have so many episodes done, and they only have so much time to do them, so. I figure um, it's good for them that they know when to say when. <laughs> right. Well, it's just like any other genealogy TV show. We want all the details, all the right. specifics, and right. you know, and want to and hear it all. And you only have so much time in a you know an hour show that usually, you know, although they have very minimal amount of commercials in the Dead Files, which is good. Yes, that is good. Uh, but uh, so, you know, I figure 45 to 47 minute show, you know, they they only have so much time. But I thought your your section as well as the couple of the other sections were done really well. Very well. I, I was I was impressed because, you know, like I said, I hadn't really watched the show all that much. And um, like you said, being behind the scenes, you kind of get a chance to see exactly how things are put together. And I have to say that. Um, the final edit seems seamless. Uh, you would have no idea that that was actually several takes. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. Well, congratulations on them giving you a holler to to be on the show and that it was in your area. And um, when, when I do get a chance to get down there, we're going to have to go to <laughs> the house and the land, well, you know. Yeah, I can dig that. I can dig up the address, I suppose, for the house since they gave me all that information. So yeah, we'll do that. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, dig up the the address, but don't dig up the spirits. <laughs> no, I'm not going to dig anything else up but that. No, no, they can rest as they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you thought it was fun because it it was a lot of fun to do. Yeah, yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. Anytime there's any kind of research, you know, historical, you know, and bringing in genealogy with it, um, you know, uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, from start to finish, but a, a good um, basic, and I love any kind of show that's that way. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, um, back in the day and, and some somewhat today too, you know, my favorite shows were like CSI. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I love anything it, that has to do with that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah, law well, and order. You know, if you want to be a genealogist, you have to be a little bit of a detective too, because you are looking for information that other people may not know exists, and you know, and you want to get those facts and get that documentation. So yeah, you, it, I, I would imagine they, they to me, they kind of go hand in hand, but they're just different purposes. Oh yeah, Obviously. and then to bring in to bring this aspect, you know, the para paranormal about right. it too, and so. But are do you have any final thoughts to, of something that we didn't bring up that you want people to know about the show and and your time on it? Not really, but what I would say is, um, if they call you, do it because they're 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 fine to work with. They're very easy. Um, the producers were nice, and like I said, Steve was a riot. So between takes, you know, we'd sit there, and, or you know, if if I messed something up or he messed something up, you know, we'd just kind of laugh about it. And he was real cool. He was not, um, he wasn't one of those people where you know he didn't, he wasn't full of himself. He was just there. He did his job. He very allowed you to do your job. Yeah, it was it was a very good experience. 
And he comes across that way on the show. He's very down to earth, very concerned. You know, I, I see um, his compassion for mm -hmm. these people, you know, mm -hmm. that the show is about. And um, that definitely comes through. So mm -hmm. that's good to hear. But, mm -hmm. and thank you so much when, when you first told me that, you know, you had an episode coming up. I really appreciate you, you know, sending me a secret message or private message to let me know. So. <laughs> Not a problem. Not yeah. a problem. I and appreciate that. I'm glad that you were on here too, so that we can can oh, chat about was, it. This was fun. I'd I'd love to do it again sometime. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Great. So, in the meantime, if anyone would like to leave us a comment, you can do that below the the uh, chat. Um, if you have any questions or uh, comments, please feel free to send a quick short email to info at the in uh, follow us on Twitter like us on Facebook and remember to go in depth with all of your ancestors bye bye <laughs>